Well, back home, another all-star from a different sport, mixed martial arts, just came back from the biggest fight of her career. Amanda Wilcoxon won in Las Vegas just this past weekend in her 155-pound weight class. But only two days after she came home, she got the call to do a pay-per-view fight. And even though this next fight's coming up this weekend, it's an offer she couldn't refuse. It doesn't matter that Amanda Wilcoxon still has a black eye from her fight this past weekend. She's ready for more. I'm already recovered. Um, being a fighter, you recover pretty quickly. I mean, your body absorbs a lot of the damage, if you will. I do worry about her safety, but I accessed the situation and realized that it's just a black eye. It looks bad to the general public, but it's just a black eye. She'll be fine. Amanda was just fine this morning when she heard the news that King of the Cage wanted her in their pay-per-view fight this weekend. It means a lot. Um, hopefully I'll show to the general public, both men and women, that, hey, women can go out there and fight, and even a small-town girl from Toledo, she can bang and get in there. It's the biggest, the biggest for amateurs and some pros. Uh, we have a lot of uh, UFC veterans that have came from King of the Cage, so this is a big opportunity for Amanda. It's a big opportunity, but with extremely short notice. That means an intense schedule. He's going to have me get up at 3 in the morning again before I have to go to work at 5, get off work, go work out again. Um, punch a little pads, work my boxing, have a little break for lunch, then come back to work out again at night. Oh, I'm looking forward to it a lot. It's a horrendous, but I love it. <laughs> it's like a love-hate relationship. It's kind of like Amanda wouldn't mind aggravating that black eye if it means a win on this unprecedented stage.